is the future. Hey what's up guys, my name is Ryan here and today I'm going to show you my aiming routine for counter blocks that I did back in the day when I played competitively. Let me put up a reminder that you don't need a beefy computer like I am, but it would be good because the learning curve is just going to be easier for counter blocks. So yeah. So my aiming routine consists of 30 minutes of deathmatch and counter blocks, 30 minutes on aim labs, and 5 to 6 casual matches. So, let's get into the first one. So basically, what I did back in the day to warm myself up for games is I used to play a lot of deathmatch. So, let's join a deathmatch server. Yeah, so basically, every 5 minutes, you switch a gun. So, let's say I'm using a deagle for 5 minutes, and then the other 5 minutes, I use the AK, or an M4. And then you repeat that for 2 matches of deathmatch, and then that should be enough. Uh, playing under 200 FPS isn't hard, but since playing on 300 FPS is so easy, the learning curve for it, it's, it goes on quicker. Another reason why you should have a good PC is the recoil is faster, so meaning that you can control it better. Also, you could get your bullets out faster. And yeah, that's one of my daily routines. All right, let's get into the next one. All right, so my next routine is going on aim lab and doing these trainings for 10 minutes each. And I only do this every time I go to sleep. So the one I recommend most is strafe track because Tracking in counter blocks matters a lot because that's where you're going to be aiming at the head to get an easy headshot. So if you want to change your sense in aim labs, you go to settings down here, go to game profile, scroll up until you see the R, Roblox games, and you go to counter blocks, counter blocks, in game, and then put in whatever sense you use for counter blocks and then hit save.
And then the last routine is just to play the game normally after doing the other two routines during the day. As you play more alongside with the aim lab courses and deathmatch warm up, you will see drastic improvement in your aim in comparison to before you were normally playing. Remember, this is my way to practice and you might have another way to practice like different courses on aim labs that work best for you. You just have to test them out. If you think playing casual is way too easy and you want to play competitively with the team, you should join matchmaking servers and scrims if you have a team. Basically what matchmaking servers are is you join a waiting room, think of it as a queue, and if the queue reaches 10 people with the host, the host will choose two captains to choose teams. Also, if you have a friend or two that wants to join, you could also go to duo queue and trio queue. A new matchmaking server is in the making right now, so I will link you that one soon. But in the meantime, I will link you CBRM that is actively playing. CBRM also has a promotion tab that says looking for a team and looking for scrim. So you could get recruited into teams in there and also look for people to play against in 5v5s. So yeah, that's how I got good with counter blocks with this routine. It'll take a few days to get used to, but in the long run, I think it's worth it if you put the time and effort to become a good player. I hope this tutorial helps you improve drastically, and I wish you all a great counterblocks experience.